that's what we do. We fight. You tell me when I'm being an arrogant son of a bitch, and I tell you when you're being a pain in the ass. Which you are. Hey, did the UPS guy come today? No. Hey, did the UPS guy come yet? No. Alright, what about the UPS guy? Is he here yet? No, Mike, the UPS guy is not here yet. Are you expecting an important package or something? No, I'm sending important packages. Well, you're not in business, Mike. You actually have to take your packages to the UPS store. Mm, no, I don't think you get it. Check this out. Beautiful, aren't they? What are these? My NCAA brackets. Not this again. Wait, did you say brackets? As in more than the standard one you're supposed to fill out? Yep. Look, I did a little math this year. Okay, I got it all figured out. Inside these boxes, I have every possible outcome of every single game of all 64 teams in the tournament. I, I can't, can't lose. lose. Right. I can't. The $100,000 is as good as mine. It's the biggest public payout that exists. Okay. Look, I know a guy who knows a guy who's way more important than the guy I know. Check it out. You have four teams, right? Yeah. In a four-team set, you have eight possible outcomes of who will play and who will win. Now take those eight possibilities and add another four teams. Now that's eight teams now. That's another eight outcomes. And then you have to multiply by another eight because there's another eight possibilities. So that's 64 possible outcomes. But then you add another eight teams until you get to 64. And so then what's that number? I, you lost me at math. <laughs> It's simple, okay? You take that number and you multiply that by 64, and that number is 4,096. You fill out 4,096 brackets? I, no. Are you not even listening to me? No. Look, it's a guaranteed win, all right? 100 grand Dinskys. And you can really send in all these brackets? Well, it's probably frowned upon, but I'm going to because inside there is a guaranteed winner, and when they find it, I'm just going to say that was the one that I meant to send in. Okay. This actually makes sense. Can I still get in on this? Well, if you want to win money for being smart, I think you should. Well, can we just go down to Kinko's and make copies of all of these? No! I, I did all of these by hand. Not including the other half that I submitted electronically. Yeah, I'm not messing around. So, you can do yours by hand, too. You can start right now. Fine. So it says here there's a $25 submission fee? Well, yeah, it's $25. I mean, how do you think they pay you the 100 grand when you win? And uh, this is my submission. I'm submitting all of these. It says $25 per bracket. What? No, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. It looks like you read the small print, but did you read the smallest print? Let me see that. You know, Mike, I might not be great at math, but it looks like I'm halfway decent at reading, so... $25 times, let's see, how many brackets did you say you did again? Technically, it's 9.223 quintillion, but I kind of narrowed it down a bit because I've been working on it for a while. Right, so. now uh, multiply that by $25. And that's... Yeah, number that probably hasn't even been invented yet. So, uh, better luck next year. Oh, crap. Guess I better start on next year now, huh? Yeah, good luck. So you think I should still send these in or... Cheers. <laughs>